First up, the usual plug for the website. It's 10% off still, so any of these sales games, you can save a little bit more if you buy your eShop cards there using code SWITCHUP. All the links in the description. And it also supports the channel just a tiny bit. And congrats to the person on the screen now. You have won a free something or other. Hit us up in an email and we'll sort you out. Make sure you leave your comments down below. Let us know what you've been playing. Hopefully some of you have managed to complete some of the games you've purchased. Or at least bought yourself a bigger SD card. What is on sale this week? It's going to be a good one. Let's find out. I haven't spoken about these two absolute classics in a long time, but you should definitely pick up Supergiant's earlier games, Bastion and Transistor. At the moment, these are 80% off. You can pick up both of them for just over five quid or your regional equivalent, and they're fantastic games. Now, I'm sure you've heard of Hades, but many of you may not have heard of these, but they deserve to be in your collection in their own right. They're fully action-packed, although the second one, Transistor, has a slightly different mechanic where you can pause time and then perform actions and things, and the main protagonist has a giant talking sword. Stunning games and really essential at that price. Another one that you should definitely add to your collection is obviously Hades. Hades matches its lowest ever price at 35% off. It's a brilliant roguelite. It's as good as they get really in this genre. Very fast paced combat, a number of different weapons that you can unlock, some permanent upgrades that happen as you do different runs, and bosses that actually remember when you fought them and sometimes even what you fought them with. There's some incredible script writing here. As the title suggests, you are trying to battle your way out of hell, and Hades is your father. He you plays Zagreus, Prince of the Underworld who has his own nonchalant style that ends up being quite endearing in a strange way. A brilliant game, hundreds of hours potentially here, a fully voiced and beautifully illustrated side cast, well worth picking up. Bastion, Transistor and Hades, all those sales end on the 27th of March. If you're after a Souls-like, then Ashen might be a good choice for you. While this does have some online functionality, it does it in the way that every Souls game does. You know, it's just the most contrived and strange system. It's not something that's easy to set up. You might basically have people wander into your world. But it's got standard stamina-based combat, dodging, rolling, some brutal enemies thrown in. If you're a Souls fan, you'll know what to expect. It's got a lovely soundtrack in here, and there is a bit of DLC release, the Nightstorm Isle DLC, so if you already own it and if you're picking this up for the first time i'd buy the dlc as well because that's also 70 percent off i thoroughly enjoyed it you're essentially working your way through three big boss fights and then your town area gradually gets built up it carries a 4.9 gigabyte download and this one's on sale until march the 27th at just nine pound 99 We have our hidden gems on these lists, we should have addictive games, because certainly Forager would go on that list. This is one we've got a review of on the channel, but you, essentially it's an open world 2D farming, crafting, exploration game. And while these visuals might look super dated, everything about this game has a, I don't know, it's like stylistic, it's stylistic choices. You can build different structures, you can, you're expanding your resources and the, about, the amount of things that you can craft, you'll gain new skills and abilities from different blueprints, and there are different puzzles in here as well. Well, you gradually unlock new areas with coins and there are a lot of secrets in here. It's a lovely little crafting game this one. And at £7.19, 60% off until March the 30th, it's the cheapest it's ever been and there's a physical available as well. Then we've got the exceptional Death Store. In this game you play as a little crow and it's got fast action combat requiring dodge rolling and there are loads of different boss fights in here. Not only can you use melee weapons, there's ranged attacks and the world has a lovely art style to it. There's a good deal of exploration, there's quite a few secrets as well and this was probably one of my favourite games of last year. If you're interested then do check out our full review, review of it. It's published by Devolver Digital, which I can never say right. I like stumble over that and it's 2.6 gigs and you're looking at around about 10 to 15 hours to finish. That sale goes on until March the 27th, it's £13.49, that's 25% off.
I love recommending The Tourist. For some reason, it's a game that a lot of people, it just slips under their radar. And then every time it's mentioned or it goes on sale, which it rarely does, someone picks it up and they're like, oh, this is incredible. Now, I think the hook for some of us, and certainly for me, is it just had that feel of Little Big Adventure to me. It's quite different, but you move it between these different islands as a tourist. There's more than meets the eye going on. There's a few different boss fights that aren't your typical. There's generally some strategy to beating them that's slightly outside of the box. But then there's also some quirky little mini games thrown in there's an arcade you can visit you can sit and chill on a sun lounger it's just brilliant it comes from shinen multimedia and it's a joy to play now it's £12.59 at the moment, that's 30% off, that sale goes on until March the 27th like the rest of these and it's only 246 megs. How is it that some companies can fit a nicely run in, decent length game, I mean it's only 6 to 8 hours but that's long enough and it looks good, how can they fit that into 246 megabytes when others struggle to fit it into like 30 and it runs like a turd, strange but well worth picking up. All right, the kids pick this week and one that my two are playing through at the moment is A Hat in Time, but it's the Ultimate Edition which includes the extra DLC. If you're a fan of old school N64 platformers, this is essentially almost as good as it gets on Switch. You can buy just the base game if you want. That's also on sale at half price, which matches its cheapest ever. And they have a couple of performance quirks every now and then, but they're still brilliant. The actual design of these is, I'd say these are slightly underrated, but if you go for the full pack, then it has the seal the deal and the, the Yakuza Metro DLC thrown in as well. It does also, which is perfect for me, have offline one and two player so you can, they can play on one console. The only drawback is the download size. It's 16.3 gigs, which is pretty chunky, but for a 15 to 20 hour long adventure, I'm not too unhappy with that. And plus obviously the DLC times on top of that. This one half price until March the 30th. <laughs> You must be very lost, kid with Jumping me. over to the US region, you guys have a brilliant sale on Subnautica and the sequel Subnautica Below Zero. The double pack, which is usually $60, is 67% off and takes it down to $19.99 for two brilliant games. If you're not sure what these are, well again we've got reviews, but they are survival games set under the sea. And if you just sang that song in your head, well, we're not too dissimilar, you and I. Now this double pack is a physical. It can be available um, had at Amazon, but also Best Buy over in the US. And unfortunately in the UK, you're only gonna find a 10% discount on it, which realistically is just standard pricing. They're great survival games though, and I've had so much fun playing through them, both set on the same planet, I believe, or different parts of the same planet, known as 4546B. You can get improved submarines and then go to the depths, um, but if you go too deep, things will be like cracking, and it's got a really good atmosphere to it. There's also base building here as well. You can build up your own habitats, and there's a storyline, but it feels quite organic. Yeah, like this one a lot. Well worth checking out. Now, I've had this one as a hidden gem before, but I'm going to mention it again because it's just received a massive update. It's Paradise Killer. This one is developed by Kaizen Gameworks and published by Fellow Traveller. And it's all set on this strange, almost eternal island that's outside of humanity and is ruled over by very unusual alien gods. Yeah, I know. I know it sounds ludicrous. But there's been a murder and you're brought in to investigate it. You can move freely around the island. You'll have to question some of the gods that are there. And there's a decent amount of hidden items and collectibles to find. But it's the core story. Like, it's surprisingly good. I really enjoyed this. And what a weird concept for a murder mystery. It just worked for me. And the fact that they've still been updating it all this time later. Um... Yeah, for £9.29, that's 40% off, the cheapest it's ever been, I would suggest checking this one out. Now, it's only on sale for another two days. So if you're interested, then you got to get it before the 22nd of March. Is paradise worth saving? That's for me to decide. I'm going to put Lost Fear in this week. I played through I Am Set Sooner and I absolutely loved it. I remember at the time everyone was like, oh, it's too bleak, blah, blah, blah. But I really liked it. I hadn't played Lost Fear and then I reviewed their latest game. So this is the one that I've missed out on until now. It's 60% off the cheapest it's ever been until March the 28th. And I've heard mixed things. Glenn says it's actually pretty decent. And yeah, well, I generally trust his opinion. Perhaps it's not going to be as good as the other two, but in because it is a trilogy. Well, it's a trilogy of sorts. It's... No, it is definitely a trilogy. This one, 
I'm Setsuna and Oninaki, but it's set around the remote town called Elgarth, focusing on a young boy, Kanata, who essentially sees, I think, some devastation in a dream. And yeah, well, I think we can all guess what happens from there, and hopefully the evil gets defeated. But yeah, I'm only maybe like five or so hours into this one. I like them. I think they're good. If you if you like JRPGs, then you know what to expect. It doesn't reinvent the wheel at all, but it's almost like comfort food for JRPG fans. I'm happy to recommend it at that price. It's one of those sales where there's so much on sale that it's very difficult. So I better leave it at that before we look at a couple of games you should avoid. It's getting easier and easier, honestly, to do the avoids. I would have thought that, you know, you'd gradually run out of games to talk about, but there's always so much trash on the eShop. Like, so isn't it crazy that we've still not got things like themes? We still can't search. We still can't create folders. How is that? It just doesn't make any sense to me at all. But there we go. First, we've got Cyberhive. I did a short review of this one a while back, and I guess the premise is interesting. You're flying through space in a hive for these anthropomorphic insects. <laughs> And they each have different abilities and can work in different parts of the ship, but it is terrible. It's so clunky. Controlling it is just a pain, and the uh, translation isn't much better. It's a shame because this could have been really nice. It's just not. It's not fun at all. And you follow this same repetitive loop, but unfortunately that loop isn't at all enjoyable. Yeah. I was a bit disappointed about this one. And then every now and then it throws in this like real time action game that's straight out of an old arcade, but even that's not done very well. Yeah, man, this was terrible. And then finally there's Pang Adventures. You shouldn't buy it because it's too addictive. Like you will never stop playing it. 60% off, £3.59. Pang Adventures is such a good game. So don't buy it because you haven't got time for this. If you do find time, then you are not going to regret it because this game in two player co-op mode, oh man, there's a guy on this channel called uh, Saber Wolf. He's been with the channel for for ages, um, I don't think he always gets to comment anymore, but he, he held the world record tight like score for this game. And Glenn and I must have, we didn't have the time to plow into it, but for some reason we just couldn't stop playing and we finally beat his world record score, only for it to get taken away from us about a day later. But it was worth it for that small time. So yeah, this one, obviously not an avoid. It's one that you should add to your collection, but I didn't see it when I did the first pass of the sales. 435 megs, man, what a fun game this is. So that's it for this week. Please do let us know in the comments what you've been completing or playing. I would love for some of us at least to be defeating these backlogs, but I know full well the irony of me saying that in a sales video where I've just suggested you buy 10 more, well, 11 more games. I'm sorry. I'm not that sorry though, really. Spend to save. That's what I say to the wife. <laughs> I won't tell you what she says back. It's a kid-friendly channel. Thanks so much to our patrons and to uh, all of you that watch the channel. And hopefully this is like one of your little Sunday night traditions. Um, and do check out the best upcoming games as well. That's become many of your Saturday morning tradition. I'll pop a link to that in the description. For all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya. There are a few that I haven't mentioned that maybe we should quickly say things like a short hike absolutely brilliant very short adventure game katana zero very fast action based i don't know how you'd even describe it it has slow-mo mechanics and little segments that you work your way through. Wonder Boy to Dragon's Trap. That's a lovely old school game that's had a new lick of paint and you can switch between the old and the new. For the King, it's a brilliant game. There's just too many. And Gris, that's its lowest price ever. 70% off, beautiful game. But potentially not the best gameplay, honestly. But it's very experiential, lovely music, and you can just chill while playing.